I grew up in um, Phoenix, Arizona, in the Maryville area. So I'm very familiar with the community I'm working with and the type of students I serve every day. Both of my parents are immigrants. Um, my dad came from Monterrey, my mom came from Durango. Um, they're both very hard workers. They have showed me how to persevere with life and just never really give up. But when I went to college, I knew that I wanted to hit that higher paying career. So I went into business. I was, yes, I'm gonna be a business student. I know how to do math, you know, math is easy to do. After I did it, I realized that I was not a business person. Just because I'm very sociable, I wanted to talk to people, I wanted to care and nurture from people. I told myself, you know, I wanna help immigrant families, I wanna help families overall be able to succeed. I was still trying to find ways to navigate through where I wanted to be at. So that's how I went into my teaching career, is just navigating different roads. But hey, it all worked out and I'm so happy to be here. I teach honestly because I love it. I love what I do. If I show my love for it, the kids love it too. But I think it's just that excitement that I have that they are able, it translates into them. I wanna continue giving that to them. I have kiddos tell me, I wanted to be at school today or I missed you, you know? So I wanna be able to offer that safe place for them to be able to be loved and cared for. It's great to see Ms. Montalongo work with her students. She has a way of communicating with them that gives them that confidence that they need to be successful, not only in that, that time they have with her, but also outside of the classroom. I think something that motivates Ms. Montelongo to continue teaching and to be the best that she can is that she's had great teachers in the past that have shown her like when you show love and care and esperanza, it's going to motivate you to do better and to achieve whatever goal that you have. So she, she wants to instill what her teachers instilled in her. I have a very high performing student. I'm very proud of them. Um, and I reached out to a family that they just need to become a little bit more social. We have a place called the Croc Center. They offer scholarships uh, for students to be able to participate in different sports and clubs. And I told the family about this and I filled out the scholarship for them so they can go ahead and hopefully get all, this, all their kiddos into this program so they can become social. Not only do they need to have that exposure inside of school, but outside as well. So I even told them if they don't speak Spanish, all you have to do is send me a message and I will drive over there with you and I will translate to make sure your kids can go ahead and be part of this program because who needs these opportunities the most? Honestly, it's the people that don't have access to it. So I want to go ahead and create that bridge of being able to connect them to these great opportunities as well. Miro el amor que tiene a, lo, a, a los niños, con qué cariño, con qué atención los trata, con qué amor. Es un orgullo para toda la familia, no nomás para mí, para toda la familia. Y ella le ha echado tantas ganas. Y al mirar esto de que ella está triunfando, eh, siento una emoción tremenda. Receiving the uh, Esperanza Award, what it really means to me is that my hard effort is being recognized and I'm really grateful for this opportunity so others can see my work and can also get empowered by this because you can also do it.